Hello, I'm Bob Nunley and I'm your local PBIA instructor. I was going to call this the tip of the week or the tip of the month, but I think now with the time constraints I have, I'm just going to call it the tip of the every once in a while. But I've received several requests about short videos on certain things, so uh, the first one we're going to talk about today is grip and grip pressure. I really feel like to understand grip pressure, you have to understand that there are several ways to hold the cue. You can hold it with a front hinge, a center hinge, or a back hinge. Now a back hinge is really uncomfortable for me and I can't control the cue well that way. A front hinge, because of my hands and the way my wrist is turned, I can't straighten this wrist out because, well, I can, but it takes some effort. I've had it broken. Then a front hinge is really uncomfortable for me because my hand collides with the cue. A center hinge is perfect for me. So now we can talk about the hinges and which ones have the advantage, but the true advantage is the one that's most comfortable for you. So let's look at the hinges again, but with a cue in our hand. This would be a front hinge. This would be a center hinge. And this would be a back hinge. I can't do this, like I said, it's just not comfortable for me. I can't control the cue that way. This is my preferred way to do it, but it's not the way I tell all my students to do it. What I tell them is, do what feels most comfortable for you and what will allow you to finish your stroke more evenly. So now that we know a little bit about hinges and the different ways to hold the cue, let's talk about the different pressure to hold the cue at. I just spent three days with C.J. Wiley, great pool legend, great pro player in my shop and in my home. And I like C.J.'s analogy about it. C.J. talks about holding the cue much like you would a tennis racket. I hold it much like a tennis racket, but loosen my fingers except for my center hinge finger. That allows me to rotate around the cue and let the cue operate freely. This nice, what I like to call subtle or even gripping of the cue with a good handle on it allows us to manipulate the cue ball however we'd like and allows us to finish our strokes properly. Just like that. Well, that's it for this installation of Q-Tip of the week, month, or every once in a while, whatever it's going to end up being. I hope you enjoyed, and if you have any questions, visit us on our Facebook page at Billiard Learning Center, and we'll be happy to help you with any issues we can. Shoot straight.